after we were walking and I was going uphill, got a bit breathless. So <clears throat> toddled down to the doctor and he said, oh, I think it's okay, Jill, because I'm ex-nurse, so I, he knows me and the rest of it. He said, but we'll just check on an x-ray. Time we got home, I had a phone call from a GP, who I say I obviously know anyway. And he said, um, his first reaction was, Jill, you haven't got any lumps in your breast, have you? And I went, no. And he said, um, he said, we're going to do an urgent referral. So I said, well, obviously, that's, um, you know, my brain was working overtime and, you know, I suppose, yes, I was quite tearful at the time talking about it. And the biggest thing was that it was the lung cancer. I mean, when I was nursing, this was early 70s, and so, um, we were doing horrendous things to patients, I hate to say it, because chemotherapy was very raw, and the side effects were horrendous. <clears throat> Radiotherapy, we used to do, <clears throat> um, used to burn people because the, the the dosages were wrong. We, we, none of us were doing it deliberately, and, and obviously all that that was done earlier has actually progressed so that we get into the stage where we are now, which the outlook is very positive. Initially, my consultant told me, we don't know, but six, nine months. And then when we got to the, to the year, I said to her, okay, so where do we go now? <laughs> so she, then she moves on and says, well, you know, we're, we're hoping to get this into control that it becomes more of a chronic disease more than an acute disease so um, and to be honest I don't feel any different now I have side effects in the drugs but I don't actually feel any different physically to what I did three years ago um, since we retired my husband and I've been very fortunate um, we've been retired 14 years and we have done lots of traveling we have a caravan um, which initially um, for the last uh, 10 years, 12 years since I, up to when I was diagnosed, we'd go off to Europe for three months and uh, just take the caravan. And we used to go to, well, Portugal, Croatia, Slovenia, Hungary, Austria, and just spend our time toddling around Europe. Um, so we've done that ever since we retired. Obviously now, because of my diagnosis, it is a bit restricted because of insurance, but I have found a very good insurance company and they will, uh, this year, they had insured me for up to 45 days in Europe. So, you know, that's pretty good. So um, seven weeks, it's not a bad trip. Most people would be very grateful to have seven weeks away. So we, yes, we travel, uh, we walk, we have lots of, um, do a lot of walking uh, locally during all weathers. Um, we walk with uh, several groups, which is, is quite good. The local pub have a walking group. Uh, we walk for a, a walking for health group. Uh, we walk with a WI. Um, so uh, our life is quite full. I definitely don't wake up every morning thinking, oh, I've got lung cancer. I get up <clears throat> and to be honest, I don't I hardly think about it. I've got lung cancer, you know, and I'll do my best to carry on living with, with lung cancer.